was not only really understandable, but also these are young Kafamaru people in the area in Surya, Kamat. This was probably the learned council which was this procession. The fact that the arrest of Masika had not been shown by the respondents who had been suppressed by any other concept. Probably the red corona such a power. The arrest of Masika has not been shown by the president who has been supported by any other for this arrest. And at West, that this continued tension was unlawful. <laughs> The concession was starting given that this application was still being opposed on the merits. The reasons for this court not really acceded to Mr. Max Abishi was based on the fact that the local standard <coughs> For the legal standing of the applicant, that is Veronica Mateka, Mateka's wife, to institute this proceedings was contested on the basis that she had not agreed with that she was indeed Mateka's wife. Or put differently, that the proof that she availed in answer to that challenge in the form of an analysis it was only availed through the reply or in the order of the standard C, supplement the aromatic. So, in the center, the problem is the standard C, C, one, some young. And given that it has been held time and time again by the continent jurisdiction, that local standard is foundational to due process. Just what we have to make a determination on that point. Jan Gana to talk to me, you will not form for a country for the main thing, and it's one who will be doing the job. So she will suffer a man or a son for a CC or a military team of war. Before it could proceed to deal with the electoral affairs. Then I am a tiny upgrade of the things I have made. The reason for this approach is simple, and that is that if this court upheld the respondent's objection to the local standard of the applicant, the court would have had to abort the proceedings at that stage by way of a recorder striking out the application. <laughs> There will therefore have been a, what I would call a glass divide, as it were, between the merits of the case and the jurisdiction of the court to deal with the same, whereby the merits of the case would have been dissimilar to, but out of reach for the court. And for that position, I cited the cases of Silo and Adro and uh, the cases of Miranda Group. Jan Moku, Moku had a similar issue. He said, the important thing is that I am Silo Hydro, is a Kale TPDAB, the Baba Mui. Before dealing with the issues that have arisen for the community, I think this is an opportune stage where I should give a background and the history of what this case is for us. In a very good point, we will jump in the next few days. 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 This case is concerned with an old Roman Dutch law, but still very bad. Vibrant remedy expressed in Latin as a writ of habeas corpus. Or which simply means produce the body. 
The remedies are available to persons who have been held in detention without being presented to court. So, so really, me, if you don't want to use your paper to buy a report, but it's really true. 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 Such a person, <coughs> excuse me, such a person is then approved the court either in person or through others who may be his relatives acting for his behalf. Mon toi, tu m'as déjà eu. In all countries or jurisdictions whose legal systems are based on Roman Dutch law and the challenge is one such country, it is a remedy in terms of which any person under arrest or detention, especially by law enforcement agencies, can challenge this or their detention. In the present case, Masika, a member of the legislature in Botswana, is under arrest and detention at the behest of the Directorate of Intelligence and Security Services, that is the first respondent in this case, as well as the Botswana Police Service, who are the second respondent in this case. The basis of Masika's arrest as presented by the respondents will be dealt with in the course of this hearing. At this stage, I only need to point out that it is found, it is said to be founded on allegations that we may have been complicit in the alleged murder of one future of Adama. Oh. In this judgment, it refers to the Claude, that is a small boy who, until his disappearance on the 18th of March 2022, was a resident of Lopate. The time for which he was taken is a member of Parliament. And he is such a big allegedly murdered in what is suspected to be a ritual. The details of the allegation of Kyoto's death are not germane to the resolution of the precedent. Except to the extent that this alert never has been used as justification for the arrest of the state. We can have a good opportunity to go out and talk about the ACJ. More of the city will be more of the city will be more of the city. What is of moment is that Masika was arrested by the DIS and the Regional Police on the evening of Tuesday, the 2nd of August 2022. And has been in detention ever since. <coughs> the case before this court is that both his arrest and detention are sought to be impugned on the grounds of unlawfulness or challenge. 
Jangan kecuali apapun. Ku kuasa pokoknya buat kota atau kehabungan lalu kecuali kehabungan masih. The basis of the allegation for the unlawfulness of his arrest and detention is certainly that he was arrested without a warrant of arrest. Kota yang kau lakukan adalah mencipta unsur personal atau yang kau tanya kecuali apa. And that he has been in detention for a period in excess of 48 hours. In your own statistics, and this is in breach of the prohibitions of section 36 of the Penal Procedure and Evidence Act. Jangan bersikap opat terkas section 36 yang sembilan belas dua. Particularly subsections one and two there. Sebelum bawa subsection yang ada di sini. It is common cause that after his arrest on the 2nd of August 2022, Masrika has not been taken to any court of law. He keeps to her at the time for the most of 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 the time for the most. Now, has he been charged with any of that? He will have a sign of history on that. It is also common cause that before this court, the respondents have not produced any warrant authorizing the arrest and or detention of my state. Although it was said by the council, Mr. Wittori, from the bar, that from where the last speaker, that the respondents were in possession of such a warrant Masika has been in custody and Veronica Masika is why the applicant is this man. He has approached the High Court for a writ of habeas corpus, that is to say, demanding the protection of the body or the person of Masika. Jaramu Memorum Masika, William Sayyidwaka Masika. Jaramu Memorum Masika, William Sayyidwaka Masika. Jaramu Memorum Masika, William Sayyidwaka Masika. Ada kata yang mahu lapor, ada kata kalau mereka akan siwe mesti dilihat. Dan also that he be released from custody for the idea of siwe akan mesti dilihat. And that the basis for his arrest and detention be proper or given to the court. No kalau lapor mereka akan buat cara jual abu yang akan mereka lakukan. Now at paragraph ten of the founding article, the applicant has been mistaken. Had stated that uh, she was bringing the application because of because her right to liberty in right under section five of the Constitution of China had been violated. More paragraph ten, the apple, 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 the respondents have raised the objection that paragraph 10, as we put it, especially the highlighted question now, clearly points to the applicant as asserting that not only is he the applicant in this matter, but also that he alleges that it is her right to liberty that has been violated. <laughs> It is done with Congress as in that to the extent that the applicant is not detained, she has not been able to demonstrate that she has local standard for any of the beliefs sought in this application. The applicant has sought to deal with this complaint by the respondents in her reply after the application. 
She stays at paragraph 25 and of that reference by her to applicant at paragraph 10 was a time to not get better. And that what she wanted to add there or to state was that it was must as a right to be interfered and not her rights as the applicant. She then referred this court to paragraphs 11 to 11.5 of the founding paragraph. Where she specifically deals with the arrest and detention of Masika as a person it has also been submitted by Mr. Mack on behalf of the applicant that the applicant has rectified the error contained at paragraph 10 of the funding by reason of her availance of paragraph 25 of the And that this being application proceedings where an affidavit is both pleadings and evidence, she is entitled to make rectification by refuting the allegations of facts contained in the respondent's answer. And for that proposition, the case of Mabel Sechakai Sikakai Masai, as well as the case of Joseph Moenyan Matam, we have Joseph Moenyan Matam. The two sentences of the cases which appear in the judgment. It is clear to me that the reference to herself as the person who survived to liberty has been violated by the president was a genuine but non fatal mistake on the part of the applicant. It has always been clear to the respondent that the subject matter of the application was Matsika, that is not Matsika. And it could not, by any stretch of imagination, be taken that the application was about the applicant herself. I think it is disingenuous for the respondent to want to claim on an obviously innocuous, erroneous description of the real subject of arrest and detention on the part of the applicant. And the point in language that we get is, is in my view without merit and it is dismissed. It has also been added by the respondent that the applicant has not shown that she has no heart and that by failing to annex to her public affidavit the marriage certificate showing that she is indeed married to a in her country, the applicant has averred that she is married to Masika and that they have been staying together and that he was arrested by the respondent in her presence. But 
the respondents have to do the answering of the application of one in the and then Anita S. And at paragraphs 41.1 to 41.3, are there that the applicant had not in her funding address to demonstrate that she is indeed married to Masika by paying for her marriage to pay for her funding address. Jerry Wabore, I don't know who this is for you, he is in charge of the project. One for the people, two for the students, for the other people. Come on, my home, and take care of the Masika. I think, I don't think you will take care of it. No, it's not there, but you will just do so. It is not disputed by the respondents, however, that in the final matter, the applicant has throughout stated that she has married to Masika. For that, I don't need to follow up on the account. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. For that, Masika has to have it. I'm going to be able to do that. I'm going to be able to do that. In her reply, the applicant then annexed the marriage certificate to support the agreement. In any event, it has to be borne in mind that the respondents have not, in their answer in that directly, disputed that the applicant was married to Mansega. That case of rather that. She had not demonstrated that that was indeed so by way of amazing the management. The then answered the respondent's query by availing the management speaking I think it is clear, as submitted by Mr. Mayor, that the legal existence of a marriage is not a procedural requirement for a person to institute proceedings of this nature. I think it is clear, as submitted by Mr. Mayor, that the legal existence of a marriage is not a procedural requirement for a person to institute proceedings of this nature. I think it is clear, as submitted by Mr. Mayor, that the legal existence of a marriage is not a procedural the availing of the rest of it since one was incurred by the president does not in my judgment constitute new allegations. And in my view, the case of WBHO construction, the letter of the president concerned with the project, does not avail the respondent to the extent that the applicant has not made any new allegations in the Again, there has not been any application that whatever it is that the respondent say are new allegations in the in the absence of the that we be struck out from the absence of the language. No, there has not been any application. This point in line he also fails on the basis that it is the right of marriage. I now deal with the merits of the application. The applicants are Germans which have not been disputed by the respondent and which in point of fact have been admitted by the respondent are that Masika's arrest on the 2nd of August 2022 was infected without the warrant of arrest. Section 36 of the 
financial intelligence act to the extent material <coughs> provides a subsection one and two there of as follows Janus to the six year bar in the law one and the three for subsection one we have in the no person arrested without a warrant shall be detained in custody for a longer period than in all the circumstances of the case is reasonable. And such period shall not, subject to the provisions of subsection 2, unless a warrant has been obtained for the further detention upon a charge of an offense exceed 48 hours, excluding exclusive of the time necessary for the journey from the place of arrest to the magistrate's court having jurisdiction in the matter. <laughs> And two says, unless such person is released by reason that no charge is to be brought against him, he shall, as soon as possible, be brought before a magistrate's court, having jurisdiction upon a charge of an offense. <laughs> The second part. Yes, sir. Yes. What is the that such person will be brought to court? The above section is clear as to what should happen in relation to a person who has been arrested without a warrant of arrest. The section may say that such a person shall be detained for no more than 48 hours. Whereas after the person should be taken to a magistrate for his or her further detention. It is clear that while Section 36 authorizes arrest without warrant of arrest, it imposes a strict obligation on the person arrested to ensure that the, the arrest is subjected to judicial authority as soon as it is practically possible. The provision clearly prohibits detention of persons arrested without a warrant of arrest beyond 48 hours. In the present case, the respondents admit having arrested Masega without a warrant of arrest on the evening of 2nd August 2022. The respondents also agree that Masega has never been taken before any court of law for his further this was clearly in violation of the law. Say in the form of law, Helen of Amanity. And the defendants have considered, as already stated, that the further detention of Masika was and remains under the immediate The position of the law in this jurisdiction is that. All arrests being interference with the subject constitutional protected right to liberty are prima facie, that is on the face of it, unlawful unless the arrest is founded on a reasonable and probable cause. 
The burden to justify an arrest and detention lies with the person who has affected sin. In this case, the respondent. And for that reason of the Lord, in the case of Eden, Tina is a decision of Judge Morocco from Pakistan, and another case, Principal Immigration Officer versus Minister of the Interior, it's a South African case. Yeah. And the case of Ad versus Minister of Human Affairs is also a South African case. Yeah. So in the current case, the respondents have not been able to justify their detention of Masika beyond the period prescribed by law. In point of fact, the respondents admit that this detention beyond 48 hours was and remains a lot of it is, it is without doubt, therefore, that Masika, it has been admitted that his detention is unlawful, is entitled to be released from custody for him. The question that we raise is whether or not the arrest of Masika, as explained by the respondents, was unreasonable and probable. <laughs> or put differently, whether it was not just a project like this, that is a circumvention of the law of rules for ulterior motives. The applicants are aware that the arrest of Masika is politically motivated. And that it is an attempt by this alleged political opponent of competitors to swell his name. This has been denied by the respondents. The respondents have, through the answering affidavit of Prince Yone Anita Esri, who describes herself as an intelligence officer in the employ of the first respondent, explained the basis of Masika's arrest. And I have referred to this answering up that uh, in paraphrase form and paragraphs 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. And I'll tabulate uh, the points coming from the academic. A, he says that Masika has violated a more fundamental right, within the right to life of those in the most recent manner in the B, that the alleged killing of those of led to some violence by members of the public in the market for a for a particular See that as a result of intensive investigation, yeah. as a result, intensive investigation were carried out by the security D that the invest D that the investigation which has been at a sensitive stage and ongoing 
have led to the detention of Maseka on the suspicion that he may have been comprising, and that is the way that we do, in the violation of political rights. And he, that the sources in the case cannot be disclosed for fear of compromising the investigation. That the such sources have alleged that Manteca consulted several attention and doctors who allegedly performed the research on him in order for him to avoid arrest. That the sources of the above information include traditional doctors that that Masega allegedly created a complex web of individuals to shield himself from detection, which now requires penetration investigation. <laughs> That Masega will ultimately be charged after completion of investigation. And lastly, that the arrest of Masega is not without that cause. It is worth stating that all about allegations of and concerning Masega have been denied by the it is also worthy of mention to say that the issue at this stage is not whether or not Matsika is rightly or wrongly accused. But rather, whether his detention is lawful. That is, has he been detained following the provisions of the Criminal The balance of the answering evidence of uh, SP is mainly agreement relating to the protection of the rights of the child. So In the view of SB, and this also seems to me to have been the government of Mr. Bukhala's ambition, this court should, in assessing the applicant's case, asserting that the arrest and detention of Maseka are unlawful and an interference with the right to be also weigh Masika's right to death against the alleged deceased child's right to life. Do you have to the page? Yes, I will try to show you. What, what the students are saying is that I, the court should put on one hand Masika's right to liberty and weigh that right against the right of a child. The the argument of the respondent that because the right to life is more superior to all other rights in Israel in the question of the child. Masika's assertion of his right to liberty is almost like an affront 
on the right to life of the deceased child. Boy, come and say what I am asking. I am Isala Marakong, who is a professor at the Chinese University. I do not agree that this this is the way to look at the contesting rights in this case. Yeah, I think I am seeing some of the section. The respondents, in my view, are mistaken. Maybe genuinely. For your kind of man, by the way, what you see. In my view, this case is not about whether or not it was right or right. It has been violated. How you ever see for it? I would say, actually, I have to say that it's a lot of time. And that it should be weighed against the, the, the right to do that after the government. Such a comparison, in my view, will be an exercise in this chief. And an attempt to unfail fan public anger and there is no doubt in my mind that the alert king of court and, and in the manner treated by the respondents is a matter for great concern. There is no doubt in my mind that the alleged killing of course, and in the manner alleged by the government, is a matter for great concern. I say for a little bit of a year to go out of a photo, I sit in a transition. Any killing of a person, or without any of the acceptable excuse, it is a serious matter. Follow it. And the killing of any person, let alone a defenseless child, is a matter of even graver concern. There is no doubt that every right every member of our society will find ritual killings as bad and decently cruel and heartless. Such killings are committed with indescribable horrendous and one ton whether it was but but we are a constitutional democracy. We are a constitutional democracy. Governed by the law of Rilawa. The courts are therefore enjoying, in the midst of the competing desire by the law enforcement authorities to invest their crime, the total or name. The courts are therefore enjoying in the midst of this competing interest that is desired by the law enforcement authorities to invest their time and that of those accused and suspected of having committed such offences to strike a delicate balance of ensuring that the details of justice remain our guiding compass. <laughs> On the one hand, is the investigative authority, the police. 
Wir waren schon ganz viel gelagert, wir haben uns noch nicht gesagt, weil wir waren auch noch nicht so viel, wir waren schon mal in die Wasser, 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 Kerja pun terlalu sedih. Boleh cuba melihat. Ia memang dia ayam. Hmm. Kau kau tu kini melihat. Ia. And the court has to come in and strike a balance. Jangan. A delicate one for that matter. Of ensuring that in all that competition, the dictator of justice remain our guiding compass. Jangan. Kau kau tu kini melihat. Ia. 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 In the general scheme of things, the exercise of power by those child influencing persons must be within the dictator of the law. Lest it unjustly infringes the entrenched constitutional right of those accused of having the dictator of the law. And I think this case is about striking that balance. It is not about weighing side by side the rights of the alleged victim's child, right to life. It's against the right of a person, circumstance as my speaker, to this liberty. To the point of saying, the right is a question of the right to be silent, and for the right to be silent, I have no choice but to be silent. So, I want to talk about who has been in the room or any other person. I cannot remember the name of the person. I do accept that much as the variants of SD are mostly based on unconfirmed. Yes, the allegations about what Masika Masika may have said. Uka uma kwa kwa. Se esli aswali ni pa ni ni mabara ba ni ni na sabuli hadi wa kote zara Masika wa kuli se ni se. But given that we are still at at investigation stages, respondents may be given the benefit of the doubt. That they had a reasonable and valid cause to arrest myself. Even without a warrant of arrest. But then, the law also obliged the respondents to take him before an extreme. If they still if they still have good reason to continue going in their custody. The respondents have not complied with this latter detail of the law. Jangan baik itu bapa sama mahu sesuatu untuk beliau sahaja. No reason to be given as to why masyarakat perlu dijaga di court for his further remand in custody. If that was found to be necessary, necessary. Maka kerana siapa pun tidak bersikap nasib sulit hati lepas di court lah, boleh tahu dia belum bersikap di luar. What respondents have resorted to? And still without any further explanation, but to break the law. Seriously, the police are trying to assess the facts. In Myanmar, for what law? They want to be allowed to detain a person without a charge, without a warrant of detention, without the authority of a court of competent jurisdiction. But I can't tell you what's going to happen in Myanmar. But it's going to be a possible. Malakuba uang di sini, kosna untuk jawab orang sedih gue. Aisyah ada yang hati nak kaya kotak, lawa malu. This cannot, they should not be allowed. Si asal kaki dia asal cuma orang select dan lawa untuk dibawa. The respondents seem to me to be afraid to take my secret to court. Koyakan nak bah kaya wah 
but some of these are not secretly allowed. Where if he has committed any offense, he should be taken to high move a channel high the ICA The reluctance on the part of respondents to follow the law on arrest and detention is cause for us. That is the first one in a democratic state governed by the rule of law as the government. They are the countries of the human rights. I do not think it can be justified that even in the most heinous of crimes, as the child things are, doubtless be such. The wrong view of the human being just according to law and justice. But if we look at the human being, we will not see that the human being is not human. We will not see that the human being is not human. We will not see that the human being is not human. We will not see that the human being is not human. If we allow for a certain type of justice, for those that structure for future murder, different from justice as we understand it in terms of rule of law, that, in my judgment, will be the very definition of anarchy. In the case of Rex versus Rhodes, it was a African case reported in the Akile Division, but the two citations are here in the Akile Justice of Akil the Vat held as follows. Mokaniaka Rex Nero T. Yar and the South Africa, it is more than the same that the Vat and Abdullah Ghana. Now, the term justice is not limited in meaning to the notion of retribution for the Roman. The Roman justice can be. Now, the term that you have to do to the notion of retribution for the wrong people. And then you should say that. I don't know if you want to know about the local justice. I don't know if you want to know about the local justice. I don't know if you want to know about the local justice. It also connotes that the wrong people should be paid by in accordance with the principles of law. While the above remarks by the day may have been made in reference to a class situation, I make bold and say that in today's understanding of the concept of justice, a reasonable man would be of the view that the same censure applies to the cause to the treatment of those reasonably suspected to have committed even the most genius of crimes. Section 36 of the Criminal Evidence Act, but that's the state government. By mandating that those arrested without a warrant cannot be detained for a period in excess of 48 hours. Without being taken before the court of law, Basis In the present case, my speaker has been in custody since Tuesday, second day of the day. More than we are not to the last two or three, was in the court of the two thousand and three, without being taken to court 
Asa isi wakil kena kaya kota Kau bin syar bin kenyokan Asa isi wakil laku Dia Dua ta'ala terlibat Kau bin syar Ini aksimu asnaf palu Kau bin syar Kansal in this matter that we are tennis Mr. Brinkford and Mr. Mack for the African on one hand and Mr. Wittori for the respondents on the other. We all agree that if the respondents <coughs> have complied with the dictates of the law, then taken my second before a court of law. This application is not very really necessary. But let that room be instituted. But we need to be able to make the debate on the level of the official level of the level of support. Kau lah musik yang awak ramai sekali main sekali nak ada kota, kota yang besar tu kau mahu pergi ke, kota yang besar di bawah tu kau ingin mengunjungi pergi ke. In the circumstances of this case, while the conduct of the respondent in a hearing can be dismissed or held to be clearly a fraud by the law, this further detention after the expiration of 48 hours following his arrest clearly is. <laughs> On the issue of pass, the applicant has paid for first one attending land spending. <laughs> The applicant has not succeeded on the issue of the alleged unlawfulness of a Masika Salas. But has succeeded on the issue of the continued detention after the expiration of 48 hours following the Salas. The respondents were warned by Mr. Mack on behalf of Masika that they are continuing the detention of Masika beyond 48 hours without the warrant of further detention was can exercise in illegality. But they never did that anymore. I think a proper cost order will be one order in cost to follow the cost, then to follow the outcome. Yang untuk siang dan untuk hari ini yang disebut I K House Nam Bolela. And that be uh, on the scale as between Atel and Plan. For the total of the Makani Mumuiri today, you are going to do so. The applicant has played for such costs to include the employment of three councillors. But that was not the case pleaded in the family And I don't think this court is justified in making such a matter. In the result, the order I made is fully. A, the respondent, B, are and and are hereby ordered to release Pablo Maceca from from their custody and set him at liberty for the The respondents B and are hereby ordered to pay the cost of this application on the scale of the tree at the end of life is an accident in a way that we have to meet you. That is the judgment of the court. You will put this up.